Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders, we problem solvers. Temple Builders safety first. Okay, Temple Builders, today I wanna to talk about, particularly with the younger generation that's curious about entering the building trades, I wanna talk about the things to know before entering the building trades, okay? Now I got my list right here that I wanna go over, make sure I don't miss anything, all right? So first I wanna talk about mental toughness. Okay, let's let's keep this in mind while I go over this list because this is going to be key, all right, if you want to go into the construction industry. So, first things first, let's talk about construction is not a glamorous occupation, okay? It's not nothing like a, a rock star or a rapper or uh, uh, you don't get the attention of a... Uh, a professional athlete okay that's one thing it, however it is dangerous right now I, I, a lot of these guys that's in the construction industry is underappreciated okay now I'm gonna tell you why cuz as I'm looking around my scenery right now I see I see roads roads that people got to go to right to get to commute on their way to work Right, somebody gotta build those roads. I see houses, okay? You also see uh, what they're called commercial buildings, all right, industrial buildings. Construction workers and the tradesmen build these buildings, okay? So that's why I say they underappreciate. Uh, another word for this is what I call unsung heroes, okay? Now, an unsung hero is someone who achieves great things yet is not celebrated now you're going to keep this in mind before you enter the building trades also the tradesmen are or the craftsmen are considered to be what you call a blue collar worker all right this is someone that um does manual labor or does uh skilled labor Okay, so if you're in construction, you're a blue collar worker. If you're in a, if you work in a factory, that's considered a, a blue collar worker. All right, a white collar worker would be, um, let's say, an engineer, someone that works in maybe in an office, could be a, considered a white collar worker. Someone in a managerial position, right? Okay, someone just typically that works in an office setting. All right. So you got two environments when you're dealing with these white collar workers and blue collar workers, okay? Now, I wanna go over some of the negative stereotypes of construction workers, okay? You gotta take this in mind, cause we being honest. I wanna, you know, I'm being truthful with this video. That's the only way I can be, let's go with it. Okay, now, the negative stereotypes of construction workers is they're not very intelligent, okay? Uh, they're uneducated. Remember, these are some of the negative stereotypes. Uh, a lot of them have a criminal record, they say. Uh, they're alcoholics, cokeheads, potheads. They're always grumpy, right? They're dirty, dirty, right? <laughs> and uh, these people are just generally, generally uh, not good people. All right. Now, from my experience, like I said, I, I, I've been in the Carpenters Union, okay? And from my experience, uh, you're gonna run into these type of people. Yes, yes, definitely, no doubt, okay? However, amongst these people is what you have, what I would call uh, a craft professional, okay? You also have craft professionals amongst these negative stereotypes. Will you run into these negative stereotypes when you go into the construction industry? Yes, okay? This goes back to what I talked about having mental toughness though, okay? Um, you gotta have a plan when you go into uh, the construction industry or the building trade. You gotta know what you wanna do. For me, when I went into the carp uh, carpenters union, I wanted my journeyman card, okay? I got it, okay? And so I achieved my goal. So definitely I would say in the construction industry, um, you can't be too sensitive, 
But let's continue. Um, also, I want to bring up some numbers. Let's talk about how the construction industry is male dominated. Okay, so I Googled some numbers and about 94% of the construction industry is male and about 6% is female, okay? So if you are a woman, uh, don't be scared to enter into the building trades because of negative stereotypes, okay? Now, is the construction industry a hostile environment? I'm not going to lie to you. It's not the same as working in an office setting, okay? You're outside. Sometimes you're in extreme temperatures, okay? When I was um, in the carpenters union, we was building scaffolds. And I, I remember the sun beaming on my uh, hard hat, and it felt like my brain was cooking like an egg, okay? So you can be in cold. You can be in cold weather, rainy weather, okay? It doesn't matter. So yes, you're gonna be in a hostile environment. All right. Now, <clears throat> construction workers also talk shit. I just cuss. However, if you're not used to that, you need to get used to it. All right. So what I'm saying, you shouldn't wear your heart on your sleeve. Okay. You're gonna have to have a thick skin. Now, let me go to another topic. Let's talk about treatment of, of apprentices. Now, when I first got into the building trades, I always, I always heard a, a, a apprentices got treated like shit, okay? Which is halfway true, you know? Maybe about 75% true. However, when I first started, I had got a cool journeyman, okay? It's also the same journeyman that bumped me up. I started I started off as a one. I helped him out. Like I said, I was in the, uh, the Carpenters Union and we went to the uh, power plant. We was building scaffolds. I helped him out. He appreciated, he, he bumped me up. I also had some bad journeymen, okay? They can call you every type of name in the book. So don't get too upset if you get called things like dumbass or shit for brains, okay? Uh, what these guys is doing, these older guys is doing, what they doing is they, they testing your metal. See, I, I kind of compare it to being in the military. See, I was in the army, I was in an infantry unit. And these, this is what the drill sergeants used to do, try to break your mentality, okay? So you gotta have a strong mentality. However, you can't, bring, you can't blame these older guys for trying to see uh, where your mental lies because this is a dangerous job and you don't wanna be out here in a dangerous job with someone that's gonna crack under pressure, okay? So just keep your wits about you, all right? And then let, let, let some of this stuff roll, roll off your back, you know what I'm saying? And then that way you can uh, achieve your goal because like I said you got to have your plan set before you go in there of what you want to do you want to be a journeyman or you want to work there your whole life or do you want to just get your journeyman card and then start your own business whatever you want to do set your goal and achieve it okay now also I want to talk about the racial dynamics the racial dynamics of the building industry so you got well, these some these some roundabout numbers, okay? So you got 52.9% is white. Uh, Hispanic Latino is 27.7%. Uh, black African American is 11.1%. And then you got 4.0% unknown. I'm assuming that may be the, the Asian persuasion, right? Now, will you encounter racism? Uh, just like anything else, uh, probably, probably, okay? Like I said, I think I said before, um, I don't know if I mentioned this early in the video. Since it's male dominated, you gotta look, you're dealing with a bunch of guys. If you ever played on the football team, think about what they be talking about. You played on the basketball team in high school, think about that, you know, and apply that, you know, in that setting, 
but you might need to times it times 10, all right? And like I go back to this, where you count a little, I, I count a little racism. Sometimes it's said in a jokingly manner, right? Like a comedian, and sometimes it get a little heated. Just like I feel like it happened in any occupation, okay? Now, to sum this up, to sum this up, what am I saying, okay? Don't believe all the stereotypes about, well, all the negative stereotypes about construction workers. I believe it's, it's a great occupation, okay? It also pays well these days, okay? Especially if you become an entrepreneur, all right? It, what I like about it, if you're a blue collar worker, as opposed to a factory worker, ain't nothing wrong with a factory worker, but being a tradesman, I can take my skills and I can become an entrepreneur and I can generate wealth myself. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so uh, there are intelligent construction workers, okay? You got to think about it. You got to be intelligent to build, to be able to, it's mathematics in building a structure. Okay, so to sum it up, you got to be intelligent to build these residential structures, these high rises, these roads, okay, that we use every day. And also, to you younger apprentices, you're not going to magnify these negative stereotypes, but you're going to represent the image of a craft professional all right so if you like this content hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell become my apprentice temple bills